there. Yes, everybody, I am back. I know, I know. Save your applause for later. You're probably wondering why I haven't made a video in uh, this year. Um, no good reason, really. But it doesn't matter, because I'm back now with another video. And I tell you what, I think I have a real doozy in store for you all. At least I hope so, anyway. One of the more toxic, shall we say, communities on uh, the internet just happens to be the K-pop community. <laughs> They've had beef with 2MAD, H3, so many other internet celebrities. Even I have dipped my toe into the angering the whole K-pop community thing. It hasn't gone well, so I'm never going to do that again. But for this video, I actually had the genius idea. Well, it was genius in my head. I'm not actually sure how it's going to pan out on video. But I had the genius idea of becoming a K-pop stan. What I'm going to be doing is a little undercover work. Is being a K-pop stan much better than being against the K-pop stands is being part of the K-pop community the true essence of what being in a community is all about. See, when I think of communities, I think of going down to the local park, people walking their dogs. Also, when I think of community, I think of people at the local shopping centre, toilet paper, you know, general happy, uh, relatable things like that. I've got to admit, I don't really know much about K-pop at all. I know I kind of like the music, so that part of it I'm, I'm more than okay with. Um, but as far as like who are the bands, who are the famous people. I don't really know anything about that, so what better way to find out than by starting from the ground up? All right, so I'm on the old Google machine and I type in K-pop. Let's see what pops up. K-pop, abbreviation for Korean pop, is a genre of popular music originating in South Korea. Fantastic. Now, um, okay, wow, also, that's not good. Top story, investigating exploitation within the K-pop industry. Okay, well, that is another topic for another day. I need to find out, here we go, why is K-pop so popular? K-pop is not just a music genre, it's a global phenomenon. The reason why it's so popular is that the idols, K-pop people are called idols in Korea, whoa, crazy, who are some K-pop uh, uh, artists? Instantly I could see BTS, that's the one I know, that's the main one. Let's see who else is popular. Pop, you la, K-pop, Groups. GOT7, Game of Thrones Season 7, not bad. Game of Thrones Season 8, pretty bad. Okay, so we've got definitely a, a nice selection here to choose from. One thing that I'm noticing straight away, they all look exactly the same. So that's clearly the K-pop uh, idol model that we're seeing in front of me is uh, you've got the nice hair, you've got the suits, you dress nice and trendy, the girls, you're looking pretty, you got your girl stuff on, I don't know. I've also seen people mention the name Luna before, so I'm gonna find out who Luna is. Luna, oh Jesus. Luna K-pop. Luna is a South Korean girl group, blah, 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 blah. okay, so it's a girl group. I'm guessing that the two biggest K-pop groups at the moment, or to me anyway, are BTS and Luna. Okay, so I've got a little bit of K-pop knowledge uh, under my belt, that's great. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to Twitter I'm going to completely remake my Twitter profile. I want to look as authentic as I possibly, possibly can. All right, so it seems that you just have to have a picture of your favorite idol. I guess so. So I think I am going to stand. I'm going to stand Luna. It's going to find a nice picture. Perfect. That's it. That's going to be my new display picture. Stan Luna. La 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 la. <laughs> Edit profile. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> this looks so stupid. Oh my god, I'm gonna lose so many followers over this. Holy shit. Uh, I'm just gonna write the name Stan Luna. Uh, I'm just gonna put my own name in brackets just so people know what the frick is going on. And I need a nice cover photo as well. Oh, that is it. That is perfect. I don't even know if that's Luna or not, but let's just go with it. Luna. Great. Fantastic. All right. Let's add that as my uh, thingo. The bio. Now, I know the bio is critical. I need to nail the bio, otherwise uh, my cover's gonna be blown real quick unless I just fucking nailed that bio. <clears throat> Let's just write Stan, Luna, BTS. Um, what are some other uh, K-pop band names? Quick, quick, quick. Um, uh, who's, who's Jung? Juk? Jung? Juk? Jong, Jonk, 
Oh, uh, Jo BTS. What's the guy's name? Jung Jungkook. Uh, uh. All right, I do another love heart. I'm so confused. Oh, I'm under pressure now. I'm under pressure. Let's just do lots of love hearts. How about that? That's perfect. 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 Location. Um, I don't want to say South Korea. I want to make it look like I am uh, an authentic fan from abroad. So my location will be New <laughs> Zealand. <laughs> I mean, I can always go back and change it if it's not working. But I think that. I don't know, man. I'm really, I'm really not sure. So there you go. That's the main, um... <laughs> this is the dumbest idea ever. Nothing says K-pop more than doing fan cam videos. So I've got to get those. I've got to get every little piece of K-pop material I can on my page. I've got to follow the bands. I've got to comment under every band post. I've just got to get in there and I've got to go full deep balls deep into the k-pop community this thing's not going to work if i just go about it half-assed i have to fully commit over like the course of the week fully commit to becoming k-pop stan if this thing has any hope of working at all exo follow beautiful k-pop predictions k-pop tv school of k-pop yep bts yep yep let's just follow them too yep yep great Luna, I'm a Luna stan, so I gotta make sure I follow Luna as well. Uh, Kim, Kim Lip Picks. I don't remember signing up to an OnlyFans account. That's, um, so I followed a few accounts. Now I need to start like retweeting a few accounts as well, just to get the appearance of a regular K-pop account out there. Retweet, retweet, retweet anything in Korean. That's always gonna help. They'll think that I'm like fully legit if I do that. Far out. Wow. <laughs> okay, what's this say? To ARMY, I love you, yes, I love you so much. Yeah, beautiful. Who is this? Namjoon. Okay, Namjoon. So apparently Namjoon loves me. Namjoon, you give me a re- ra Oh, fuck. A reason to live. Thank you for all that you do. Yeah, I gotta work on that. I think it'll naturally come to me as I progress through this whole journey. I'm really gonna start picking up people's mannerisms and the way they speak. It's gonna take time. It's gonna take time. This is the first day. So I can just literally go and follow anybody. Uh... <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Beautiful. Man, I'm going to lose so many followers, I can already tell. Oh, I got a message already. What's this? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now to make... <laughs> Ooh. Oh, God. Oh, man. Alright, I need to... I need to... Uh... <laughs> I need to make a post. I need to make a post. Is this cultural appropriation what I'm doing? Something in Bruh. Korean. Um, let's go Korean translator. I love Luna. A beautiful. Uh, I love Luna. Beautiful music and faces. <laughs> <laughs> Far out. Love you. Uh, only heart eyes for you. Namjuni. Hashtag. Thank. I'm just ripping off other people at this point. Thank you. Namjun. BTS. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm gonna start following people. Uh, I don't know. Man, I'm gonna have the worst time ever cleaning up my fucking Twitter profile after all this. Oh boy. I am like fully deep into this whole thing. There's no turning back now. I am way too far down the rabbit hole already. So I'm just gonna have to just sit and see how this develops. I'm gonna be tracking it over like the course of a week. I'm gonna see how I go. I'm gonna see how deep into the K-pop community I can get. That's pretty good, right? I need to post more pictures. That's what I need. Let's go BTS behind the scenes. <laughs> this is either gonna go really well or really bad. 
I'm hoping it goes really bad and I've just ruined my Twitter presence completely. Now I've just gotta let it simmer for a little bit. It's kinda of like cooking. You gotta put the you gotta put the stock in, you gotta put all the spices and seasoning and everything in. You gotta let it simmer for a little bit, let it marinate, let it do all that stuff. You've gotta give it time for it to start tasting good. I also gotta to remember to not use Twitter like I normally do. I've gotta like, as I said, fully commit to this gimmick. I don't know if I can do it, but let's find out. <laughs> Fuck. So wow, so this is a few days after and uh, it's gone really well so far. Um, I would say I've had a, a very interesting experience. One thing that I did realize uh, shortly after starting this experiment was uh, my profile was like a little bit fishy. I remember I had an interaction with somebody and uh, they were like, "Oh, I think this is a parody account. And I was like, uh, what? And obviously I played dumb. You know, what are you talking about? I'm a K-pop stan, man. And they were like, oh, because you said this, 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 and this in your bio. I was like, oh, that's a bit weird. So that got me thinking, okay, if I'm going to be truly incognito, truly undercover, I can't have anything that would raise suspicion from other people. So what I did was I just decided to become a BTS stan just completely. Just BTS only. Because what I found out is if you're a fan of like more than one K-pop group, uh, you're not really a stan, you're more of like a, uh, a local. So you can see my profile at the, at the current point. It's like full on BTS, BTS only. They released a new album, which was perfect timing because all I did was just retweet that album and hashtag everything. So that part was really good. So for the first few days, nothing really happened. I was just on the Twitter, retweeting stuff, you know, following a couple of other stan accounts. Nothing really happened, and I, it got me thinking that, oh, maybe this whole thing is just gonna be, like, a bit of a flop, because, you know, there's not enough juice here, it's just people, you know, indulging in innocent fandom. And I'm like, eh, that's fine, but that's kind of boring, that's not really what I'm here for. So after a few days of me just retweeting basic K-pop content, you know, trying to get my BTS love out there. After doing all that, uh, <laughs> I decided to uh, take a little bit of a gamble. As we know, K-pop stands are notorious for getting into online beef. Um, so I thought I would chuck my hat into the ring, but do it the other way around. I would stir up a little bit of controversy as the K-pop stand, and I would become public enemy number one. And uh, it went really, really well. For the purposes of this experiment, it went absolutely perfect. I could not write a better response than the response that I got. All right, so I found this tweet, okay? It's by this dude named 100T Frosty, okay? He's verified. I assume he's like some kind of streamer or content creator. I don't actually know who it is. Uh, do you? Name every content creator then, huh? So I had no idea who it was, but he made this tweet. If BTS gets coronavirus, the stands are going to find a cure within 24 hours. Obviously, that's going to make people angry because that did make someone angry. This can no longer be acceptable. We are sick and tired of these kind of jokes. Here are some templates I made for us to email the CEO if his sponsorship and B I don't know. So that's the kind of power that uh, BTS fans have. Look at this, look at this. So that's exactly the kind of fandom that people are up against if they decide to poke the bear and make K-pop stands more crazy than they actually are. Now, one of my favorite YouTubers, Justin Wang, uh, he, <laughs> he quoted the tweet with the following LMAO, the emailing Frost's uh, sponsors because he made a joke about BTS. <laughs> you see, uh, yours truly, when you say stupid things like that, which literal affect millions of people around the world, it's something that can't be taken lightly. Don't mess with an army if you aren't prepared for it. That's all I'm saying. This was the first reply that really started to get the ball rolling. It's, uh, this, okay? K-pop stan me was having no part of that. And uh, as you can see in my reply, I'm 17 and you're literally talking about the P word to me, freaking disgusting. And uh, the whole thing just blew completely out of proportion when Justin Wang himself actually posted a screen cap of the interactions that I had with this person and that just blew up completely. Look at that. <laughs> as you can imagine, um, <laughs> and that's just people responding to this post. You should have seen the amount of people that responded to my original post. So I completely did all this on purpose as well. Yeah, my, my ats, my replies, uh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, definitely, uh... Wow, if you had told me at the beginning of this experiment 
that I would have created such a fury online just by one tweet, I probably would have believed you. But whether I actually would have done that or not, I, I don't know. I don't know if I actually would have considered doing that at the beginning of the week. Uh, but after just being a K-pop stan and just being a fan and just, you know, interact with other fans, which was relatively harmless and pretty uneventful, to be honest, I thought there's the opportunity for me to get a little bit crazy and... Um, got crazy I did so we're gonna wait to see how this boils over in the next few days there's only a few days left so maybe I'll see if I can kick up some more controversy maybe I can make some more people angry or maybe this is this is it that's that, that's enough of a sample size for me to have fully lived the k-pop stan experience <laughs> Alright, so you remember when I was saying that I'm gonna give it a few more days, see how the experiment continues to unfold and unravel. Um, yeah, no. I don't want to do it anymore. I don't want to do it. It is so much of a mental burden. It is so much of a task. It takes concentration, dedication, and in a time like this with the coronavirus and all the other crazy stuff happening in the world, uh, I really don't want to deal with it anymore. But as I say that, there is one more thing that I need to do to bring the experiment to its official conclusion. <laughs>